Liz, your season in this year has been quite incredible. You controversially overlooked for the Olympics, yet you've come across to non-drafting, especially the seventy point three level, and your success has just been incredible. Yeah, I've been like pretty happy with how it's gone. Um, obviously, the Olympics was a huge letdown, and um, it was always my plan after the games to convert over to this, but it just happened a little quicker than what it would have. Um, and I've yeah, like really surprised myself. Firstly in Boulder, and then doing backing up in Cozumel. So yeah, I'm stoked and really looking forward to my, like my new my new park and triathlon, and um, you know looking to go to Vegas next year and try and do well there. You mentioned Boulder, the cracking field that day. You, you knocked off the Ironman world champion in Leander Cave. You know, did you expect when you came across the 70.3 that you would just make the transition so effortless? No, I didn't expect it at all. And that race, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how. how how to pace myself and um, you know when I found myself in the lead I just like was kind of surprised and you know till the last kilometer I sort of thought someone was going to run past me and I wasn't going to win so it was a really nice surprise and um, you know I guess I'm still not really believing that you know I can be this good but I guess I need to start believing it. <laughs> you both in both victories you've had this season was against the Aussie Melissa Holshill you're developing quite a little bit of a rivalry here between <laughs> you two. You just, every race you pop up you seem to just take that victory away from Mel who is a former 70.3 world champion. Yeah, Mel's a fierce competitor and um, she absolutely goes after her on the swim, and, I'm sorry, on the bike and the run and um, in the last few races it's kind of been her swim I think that's let her down and um, she's giving me you know, a good three or four minutes out of the water on her and um, that's been enough to I guess like give me that buffer to stay away and it's worked out in the last few races so we'll see how it goes this weekend. You mentioned in the press conference you've got a special connection with Western Australia, having spent a lot of time growing up here. What would the win on, on Sunday mean, you know, being almost a local girl here? Yeah, I'd love to win here. There's, I've got a lot of you know, old friends that I grew up racing with and I think a lot of, you know, silent supporters or, you know, secret supporters that I guess would like to see me do well here. I haven't raced here since two, 2004, so it's been eight years and um, yeah, it'd be really fun to have a good one here and if I could win, that would be a bonus.